As parts of the country face heat alerts and Canterbury declares a restricted fire season, new figures have confirmed the alarming rate of climate change, showing 2023 was a record-breaking year of staggering extremes. Climate correspondent Isabel Ewing is here to explain. Isabel. That's right, Mike. 2023 has smashed the record for Earth's hottest year by a huge margin. The global average temperature was 14.98 degrees Celsius. That's 0.17 degrees Celsius, higher than the previous hottest year, 2016. And it's the closest we've come to hitting the 1.5 degrees temperature target that countries vowed to stay below. The planet was 1.48 degrees hotter last year compared with pre industrial Industrial levels. Experts say it was inevitable due to continued record carbon dioxide emissions boosted by El Nino. And last year was New Zealand's second hottest year, and scientists say the rising temperatures mean more extreme weather events are coming, but where they'll strike is a roll of the dice. As Kiwis enjoyed a stinking hot summer day, scientists issued a stark reminder. Maybe some warmer temperatures are nice to enjoy if you don't like cold temperatures, but it comes at a price. Um, on this trajectory, you know, there are consequences. And last year, these were the consequences. Canada ravaged by wildfires, mega droughts around the Mediterranean and extreme rainfall in New Zealand, Australia, Greece and Libya all intensified by record global heat, driven by our persistent burning of fossil fuels and boosted by the natural phenomena of La Nina and El Nino. What we've seen in 2023 is consistent with climate change. Not only was 2023 the hottest since global records began in 1850, it was likely the warmest in 100,000 years. The milestone, no surprise to scientists. We've been saying this for about 30 or 40 years now so so it doesn't it, it's not a huge surprise um, and it's really a, a question of adapting to the changes we're experiencing and taking more action to, to limit further warming. Last year was New Zealand's second hottest year to 2022 and this may come as a surprise to Aucklanders and those on the North Island's east coast it was only New Zealand's 21st wettest year on record but a warmer atmosphere means more water vapour and more intense weather events. More water vapour you have the ability to get more extreme rainfall, especially that short duration rainfall, something that comes in six hours, three hours, one hour. Those things are really sensitive to increased temperatures throughout the globe. Scientists say efforts to cut emissions are nowhere near what's required to meet the agreed limit of 1.5 degrees of warming. And the suffering will be much worse and far sooner for some, like those in low-lying areas. Everyone has a roll of the dice uh, and some people will, will throw a bad number. Dave Frame says the 1.5 degree limit shouldn't be viewed as a tipping point, but that each increment of warming means damage is worse. It's better to see it as this is an agreement we made globally to try and protect the, the most vulnerable people in the world. All the more reason to sit up and take notice of our planet's rapid changes. I'm hoping people don't become acclimatised like, oh, it's just another record warm year. That means something. Because it's expected 2024 will be warmer still. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.